I have a picture in my house, Civil War picture. Imagine what it would be like to be one of those men. Remember now, they're not, they're not citizens. They're not members of the United States. I don't think they had anything to be scared of. I, I, when I look at a picture, and they're holding their musket. It's, it's, I can do this, I wanna do it, and whatever it takes, I'm gonna do it. Here at New Market Heights, the U.S. Colored Troops proved themselves. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, they proved themselves. My name's Ron Coleman, Lieutenant General, United States Marine Corps, retired. I enlisted in the United States Navy, got sent to Vietnam, taught school for a year, and then decided I wanted, I wanted more out of life. I, I joined the Marine Corps. Spent time in Korea, the Philippines. My time in Haiti was my, was my favorite. Probably the highlight of my career, because we, we felt like we were doing something for the people. My goal was to be a Marine for two and a half years and then, and then become an FBI agent. Uh, I stayed in 35 years. God puts you where he wants you, when he wants you. That's what the, my lot in, uh, in life was. I feel a connection. Uh, to all the soldiers that, that came before me. Tuskegee Airmen, the, the Buffalo Soldiers, the Moffett Point Marines. There's nothing, nothing special about me that, that wasn't special about anybody else. We're at a Confederate position, Fort Harrison, outside of Richmond, Virginia. Imagine this, having to fight up, up this hill you have Confederates shooting at you. Retreat's not in your vocabulary. All you're gonna do is keep advancing and keep advancing. If you get to the top of the hill, then you have to fight over the hill. This is as, as intense as you'd ever want it to be. That's war. The story of Palatine Beatty needs to be told and remembered. During the Civil War, there were no colored officers. If the senior person goes down, then the next person in command has to step up and give the command. Palatine Beatty, as a black soldier, took over command of the company. Of Company G's eight officers and 83 enlisted men, only 16 enlisted men, including Beatty, survived the attack unwounded, which successfully drove the Confederates from their positions. Here, right, right here, 14 United States colored troops were awarded the, the Medal of Honor, and also two to two white officers. It shows the, the fortitude of the men fighting this battle. And without them, it, 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 I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be, I, I'm standing on a lot of shoulders. General Grant was a, was a three-star general. And I'm a three-star general. And, it's, and, I'm, and I'm here where he was. I got, I got an invitation to come back home, uh, Darby, where I grew up, just outside of Philadelphia. And uh, they named the street after me, the, 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 the street I grew up on. I had a, I had a parade, I had some uh, congressmen come speak. And, and you know, it, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. 
I mean, I have a, I have a street named after you. That's, it's, 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 that's my Medal of Honor there. And the, you know, it, but it's more than, it, it's, it's that the people were so proud of me. Not, not, not me being proud of myself. If I put myself in, in their, in their shoes, whether, whether I'm just, just a, a person watching them march by or being one of the people marching by. And I don't know who has, who has more pride. It's not about me, it's about them. And that's, that's how I feel about the, the colored troops. If not for the, for the U.S. colored troops, I would, I would never have been able to get to where, where I got. They, they had to show the medal to be, to be accepted, and then it's passed on from, from generation to generation. I think it's extremely important that we continue to preserve our battlefields. If, if we do not do that, then a large part of our history is forgotten. This is, this is our history. This is what we're about. We need to take care and continue to preserve our national battlefields.